Guys who've been held out aren't practicing, but we got a few guys going into individual. We're going to let Richard go into individual today. Um, Max is going to do individual. He's been out with a hamstring, McCaffrey, and Jimmy Ward, who missed last week with an ankle. So he'll get some work today, too. So Malcolm's Sorry, Malcolm's full go also. Uh, he's been doing Mike now, but again, all those guys, depending on how injuries, how everything plays out, they all do need to be interchangeable. Um, but we've been wrapping them at Mike and Camp right now. Uh, like here. He's kind of kept low at profile, not really one that seeks attention. Um, do you see it that way? And why do you think he's chosen that approach? I, I just think he's himself. I don't think he needs to seek attention. Um, I think he gets plenty of it. Um, so I just think he's kind of the same guy he's always been. And um, I think that's why guys like him. You know, you don't. Um, I think guys liked him right when he got here, and they liked him as he played well. And uh, everyone knows the contract he signed this off season, and he's not going to come in and act differently. He's been the same guy each day, and uh, I think that's why the people here really appreciate him. Joe's come a long way. You know, I think his body looks a lot better than it did last year. Um, he's put on a lot of uh, muscle mass just with how he's worked and has taken advantage of the year of not playing. Um, I think he has just a different mindset, um, understands a little bit more of the standard of the NFL and the difference. Um, sometimes it takes guys time. It's, it's not always malicious, and they don't, they're not trying. It just takes time to understand it and what you have to do day in and day out. And I think Joe's made some huge strides between now and last year, and uh, I think that's why I'll have a chance. Still see the the reasons that attracted you to him in the first place? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Joe's an extremely explosive back. Um, look at his yards per carry in the preseason last year. I don't think it was a surprise that he was close to seven and had more than most of the guys. Because um, when it is blocked right, he's got the size and the burst to get through there as fast as anyone. Um, but it's just about doing it day in and day out and protecting the football. And what do you do when the run doesn't look good? And what do you do without the ball in your hands? And just everything, just being the same guy every day. And um, Joe has come a long way in this year. And I'm really excited about him coming back to training camp. Yeah, yeah, Jarek's been great. You know, he, he missed some time. We were pretty cautious with him um, with some ankle stuff, too, um, in the middle of OTAs. Uh, but he's got enough reps, and he's been um, what we hoped. A few weeks ago, you mentioned how uh, the big difference from last year to this year is guys kind of knowing what they do. What, what they do. Has that affected or changed the quality of what you've been getting from them on the field, and if so? Yeah, you just, um, the more you're ahead, the faster you can get continue to get ahead. Um, when you, when you have to spend a lot of time on how you want to practice, that we need to work hard here, um, how you do a walkthrough, how you finish a drill, um, how you make a play and run to that, just little things in the standard of how you practice. When, you, when you're new somewhere and everyone's new, it just takes a while to do that. No matter how much you preach it, you got to keep showing it every day and trying to train guys how you want to practice. And um, now everyone kind of knows, and they just follow each other. And the new guys are in. There's already standard set, so they just jump in line and go with everyone else. And when you don't have to talk about that stuff every day. You got to talk about other things. So you get what you emphasize, and it allows you to emphasize some things that you would like to say are more important. But if if you don't have a standard on how you start and everything, you can't get to those next steps. And um, we have that standard. We've done a lot. We're a lot further along with it, and I think it just allows allows us to be further along in other areas. What are some of those things that, that you kind of preach you have to? Um, just stuff we can cover in team meetings. I mean, we don't always have to cover getting people to work. Everyone's working. That's not a question. Let's just detail up our technique. Let's talk about our steps. Let's look at it closer. Think of how it is versus this coverage versus front um, versus studying people's stances, whatever position you are, how to change things up. Um, there's so many different intricacies to a game and to a front, to a technique, to a coverage, to teams, to all that changes every week. So there's no absolutes, but that the one absolute is you got to it's very hard, and so you got to work and grind every single day. And I think we got a team who's not scared of that. Guys like to work. Guys like to put in the time. And now we just have a bunch of guys focusing on getting better. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to keep a secret, but it's been really hard. But um, last year I kept a secret too long, and then no one could have babysitters. So <laughs> I'm kind of telling them. Obviously, it's not a secret anymore. But yeah, the last day of school, you don't want to have a too long of a practice. Um, so we're just going to try to get the family up here and barbecue a little bit, get the jumpy castles and stuff, and have Staley and Glenchy play King of the Hill in it or something. <laughs> <laughs> do something. Brother, how is that uh, relationship working out, Kyle, between the two of them? How fast have they developed a bond? 
Uh, I think they've been good. They're, they're funny. They, it's like two giant 12-year-olds hanging out together. Um, but I think they have a lot of fun together. I think we've got a real good room there. Um, you know, um, Joe is obviously the veteran. Um, Mike's the, the new rookie. And we got a lot of guys in between those guys who fall right in with the group, too. I think we have a very close room in there. I think we've got a close team. Um, and it's, it makes it a lot more fun to come to work. Given the fact that I came to the same coach and the same background, when you're doing your research on um, Mike with the coaches at Notre Dame, how much did Joe come up? Because he's kind of a, he was kind of a template when they were developing. I, I mean, it, it doesn't come up a ton. I mean, we, it, it makes sense. You know, they both had two very good college coaches. They're both two very talented guys. Um, and they both are playing to a, very close to their ability in the college level, which I think has to do a lot with them and that they were coached well. And then you hopefully you can get them to the NFL and with their talent and the way they work, just with more experience and stuff, um, it's hard not to improve each year as long as you take care of your body and you can stay healthy. So I think we got two similar guys with similar backgrounds and that's why it's, you hope that they're, we feel, we feel very confident they're made of the right stuff, which will allow them to improve as their career goes. Last week during Jimmy found Pierre, and that, that obviously wasn't, they didn't play together last year. Can you offer some insight on, on what their relationship is like throughout this offseason? I, I think it's been a, just part of the process. It's just been good for them to get to play with each other. You know, Jimmy came here last year, and I think he got to saw, see Pierre maybe for one game. Um, and then Pierre was on IR, so I think you only got to see him play once. Um, saw a lot of film from the cut-ups and stuff that we were trying to teach Jimmy with, but didn't really know him as a person. And it's been a good process for them to get here, spend some time together, get to know each other, um, go through all the reps of having some successful ones, some bad ones, stuff they can talk about. And some days are better than others, but they're going to know each other. And uh, I think it'll be good going into training camp, and it'll definitely be nice to have Pierre back this year. Yeah, he's been great. You know, it's been real fun with him out there. You know, you got to be careful with how you run the ball in OTAs, but um, it kind of works to our advantage because we do so much outside zone and not as much gap schemes and things like that. And um, he's he's been great. You know, him and Earl battle every day. We get DJ in there. Um, they know what's coming. We know what gaps are in, and those two got to keep doing the same thing over and over. And he's created a lot of space for us, and I think he's fit in with the guys, and uh, he works as hard as everyone else, and we've been real happy so far. And Earl, Kyle, do you, in general, do you see chemistry? Uh, forming a quarterback and his receivers over practice? And, and if so, have you seen that with Jimmy and the rest of the guys? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we saw it last year. Um, the more guys work together, especially when guys enjoy each other's company. You know, not I don't think everyone's best friends or anything, but I think everyone respects each other and um, enjoys each other. So those guys put a lot of work in here when we're around. I think they put in a ton of work when we're not around. Um, we got a lot of guys, football's very important to, so that's, you're gonna get that, but like I keep saying, our guys enjoy each other also, so it just makes it easier to keep working, and the chemistry you can't force, you can't talk about it, it just, it has to happen, and it takes time, and I think that's happening. Well, have you formed an opinion yet where Jimmy Ward can help you out most once training camp begins? I, I have a lot of, you know, Jimmy can help us out most where he's needed the most, um, which is a very good thing for a team to have, and it's a very, Big compliment to say to Jimmy that he's capable of helping us out at nickel, corner, and safety. Um, where do we need him the most? And we're not quite sure yet. But what I've been excited about is how he looked throughout all the OTAs. You know, we only kept him at corner. Um, he did a very good job. He showed that he can be a starting corner in this league, and it's good to have him as an option. We'll see how training camp pans out. Um, he's shown throughout his career and last year when he played for us that he is, uh, can play, be a starter at safety, and we know he can play nickel also. So I've been very happy with Jimmy. Got a little tweak, I believe it was his ankle last week, so a little bit of a setback, but nothing to be too concerned about. Um, but I think he had a very good OTAs, and we'll see if he gets out there. To, probably not today, but maybe tomorrow. When I look at the, when you look at that the, the, uh, defensive backfield, is Colbert is he solid at, at free safety as your starter? Is he going to be your starter? Uh, right now it looks that way. I mean, I'm not going to make any guarantees, but if if anyone watches, you know, the level he played at last year was very good, and he got better the more he played, and we were very happy with him as our middle third player. Um, before Jimmy got hurt, he was playing like that too. Um, but Colbert's came in, especially with our corner situation. He's had all the reps, and um, you know, I always I'm not gonna tell me he's arrived. You get better or worse, so he's got to continue to get better. Um, but we were very happy with him as our middle third safety. And if someone comes out and beats him out and plays better, then 
And that's not the coolest thing for Colbert, but that's a good thing for the team. You know, it's a good problem to have to deal with. I think George can be a very good tight end in this league. I mean, he can be. It's, it's rare that you have a guy who is built to block very well, who also runs in the four fives, and who's quick enough to separate. Um, I think George. Uh, he was a big part of our team last year. I think George played last year hurt almost the entire year. Um, he was hurt a lot in training camp too, and we put a lot of pressure on George early because we needed to. And um, he got. He, he was up and down throughout the year, but he never shied away. And we always knew he was hurting. Um, but for him to get away, clean his body up, get healthy, to come back and just watch how he moves right now, it just shows us how banged up he was. You know, he's a tough guy who's going to play through things, but he's healthy right now. He's moving great. It's allowing him to get better in the run and pass, and um, that'll continue. George's got a lot of ability. Um, he's been, I've been excited with him, you know, they're trying a bunch of different things with him. You know, Chris and Z have done a good job, like working with them in the run game and the pass game. You know, I think he came in trying to isolate on some moves and you never, we try to hold all judgment till guys put pads on. Guys are very hard to block when you don't have pads on. Maybe it's, they're too slippery until you can get the blocks on them. Um, but he's gotten better each day. And that's to me a sign of that he's, it's legit because, you know, these last, the last few OTAs were so much better than the first few OTAs. And I think the more he gets comfortable, the more he works. He's got the ability to do it. And um, he's going to be a candidate to help us um, in the training camp here. Since, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. Okay. <laughs> you don't have any established passion. I mean, you have potential, but um, well, I believe that we got guys with ability who work and who have a chance to get better. And I think in order for that to improve, every single guy we have in our roster, whoever it ends up being, needs to take a step forward um, from our best guy to our last guy. And I believe that we are capable of that. I don't think we're maxed out at D-line. Yeah, I would love to bring in a guy in who gets 20 sacks, or um, I would love for him to be sitting right there in the draft for us and to where it's just no doubt about it. Everyone knows you got that person. Um, but that's hard to find, and, and I don't think every team in this league has that person. I think we have some guys who are capable um, and who have a chance of possibly getting there, and that's what excites me because I think we had some guys who played good last year. But man, can we get a lot better? And we'll always look to improve. We'll always look to add. But you don't want to just, we, we got to find people better. And it's got to be available, first of all. And in the meantime, I'm excited about our guys. They can get better, and they're working to get better. I've seen it throughout OTAs. I thought when guys came back here, they were better than when they left. I think we were better in OTA 9 than we were in 1. Um, hopefully, we can stay healthy through these two days. And um, they'll keep working on their own for this month we're away. And we'll come back in training camp ready to go. Kyle. Uh do you sense excitement in Joshua Garnett to get an opportunity and show what he can do? And what do you think of his development? Yeah, I do. You know, I, I, you know, just watching how he moves around. You know, I can tell he was excited just by watching how, as I told you guys, he took care of his body the time away. Um, he took um, advantage of the year he had off um, to take care of his knee, but also to get in the best shape possible that, you know, where he is right now. Um, is much further ahead to where he was last year in, in OTAs when I met him. Um, he's in better shape. He runs better. He's stronger. Um, he's lighter. Um, and he has given himself a chance to compete now. Uh, he's coming along. You know, he's not going to be there till training camp. Um, so, I mean, that's been the plan with him from the start. And uh, there hasn't been any setbacks. So um, once he gets out there, I think it'll add a lot more competition for those guys. And I'm looking forward to watching it. Um, I haven't yet. I did a bunch last year. I think I did it earlier in the, but the the, the final game. I mean, the the championship was went so fast and was not very close, except for the first game. So it went pretty fast. But I'm sure I'll, we'll get something either tomorrow or the next day. I know our guys are watching it a lot. So, all right, guys. Thanks. Thank you.